Yo, what's up, Real Talk Nation? We apologize for delay. I know you were waiting in bated breath. When is the Real Talk Sports and Gaming podcast going to start? But had a little bit of a hiccup in putting my daughter to bed. We're ready to roll now. So welcome in. Hey, yeah, man. Uh, it's it's like it's like you said, man. It's like the Hurt Locker over there. Chuck's got a teething child. They're trying to put her to bed. You can't you can't cut the red wire, Chuck. You got to cut the blue no, wire, dude. man. I'm telling you, man. It's like. Every step you take, you're like, oh, oh, but we're good to go. We got a lot to talk about. Redskins, Big show. Super Bowl preview. Then we're going to get into the gaming, of course, with some Resident Evil, some stuff like that. And then we're going to add a little bit new flavor this week with a little entertainment section because oh, some yeah. of the funniest things on the internet happened yesterday and today. So we're going to talk about some Ariana Grande. We're going to tease you with that there at the end. But. I say every week we start with the Redskins because there is actually some things that happened this week that are positive, I guess. Just like you said, shoot, just when you're out, they pull you back they in. They pull me back in, bro. And I'm telling you, I saw the news that we hired Rob Ryan, and it was it was just it was just like that, dude. I was so you know, I've been so pissed for weeks. This is uh, this has been well documented. <laughs> now they hire Rob Ryan as the linebackers coach. And yeah. I'm very intrigued. I am very intrigued. Now, we're still a dumpster fire, but that was a great hire. Because, you know, you look at it and you're thinking to yourself, like, what can these people do to make me even somewhat remotely trust them again? And it's that they go out and hire Rob Ryan and Ray Horton, who both have previous defensive coordinators, yeah. 17 years experience between the two of them as assistants. So yeah. while we didn't land a new D.C., we, I feel like we filled voids in the the staff with we quality got help. people, and the the Rob Ryan hire is a energy hire. They want some attitude in the linebacking position specifically. We've had a lot of issues there last year with speed, at times with effort, at yeah. other times with players getting in people's DMs, talking smack about the organization. I mean, there was a mess. It was a dumpster fire. Oh, no, you're, if the no Redskins doubt. are a dumpster fire, they were a part of the Coles few, you know, you know, fueling it. So <clears throat> Rob Ryan is a football family. The dude has been breathing football since the day he came out of his mom. So he knows it. And I think putting him in that room with some of the talent, the young talent, Sean Dion Hamilton, Ruben Foster, you know, the young talent we have, it can be huge. We can turn a weakness into a strength real quick, just like they did with Jim Tomasula when they did to the defensive line. It could be very similar. Yeah, and I, I, I completely could see him becoming the D.C. in a few years. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm interested to see what the outsider opinion of this is. Blake, what do you think about this hire for the Redskins? Yeah. I think he uh, brings some passion. You know, it kind of reflects a little bit on the situation up in Cleveland. We got some attitude going on. Mm-hmm. I, that's, you guys are like the NWO of <laughs> NFL. <Yeah. laughs> a little bit of uh, some happiness and try and get you guys a little bit more motivated. Big thing I still though in the end is can you guys stay healthy? Yeah, and that's what that's everyone says. Question. And then so, which is a great segue into the next thing. I mean, we're going to talk about Kevin O'Connell here getting promoted to the offensive coordinator second, but it ties in with what Blake is saying is that. All you hear today specifically is if the Redskins stay healthy. Josh Norman just said on Bleacher Report he thought we would want a Super Bowl. I'm like, yeah, chill. Like, yeah, we're not calm down. Bowl. Maybe a wild but, card, bro. But when you think about it, that we were six and three. I mean, two games ahead in the division, so it's really hard to tell. But plus, I I I, I, I got I got to comment on that real quick though. Like everybody's dragging Josh Norman online. Like, isn't that what you want your team to believe? Like. Shouldn't they want, you know, you want to project this air that we are the best team. We would have won it all. If this, yeah, this, yeah, this, of course. Like, should he not have, what, what should he have said? He should, oh, man. We yeah, sucked. we would have sucked <laughs> if Alex Smith yeah. was there. Like, what the hell is he supposed to say? Come on, give me a break. Yeah, no, I agree. And it's just funny because, you know, at the end of the day, they, they're still teammates. Like, you got to be like, yeah, we were leading the division. You can't say that we couldn't do it. There's It's a hypothetical situation that never happened. So. Right, right. He's just being a good teammate. I think it shows that he wants to stick around. But I think the changes on offense with Kevin O'Connell, who people dub as, you know, the next Sean McVay, could easily be the next head coach. So 
to Red's point in the chat where he's like, why not bring in a DC and let him hire his own people? Like, it's very likely that Jay Gruden is gone next year. So you're not going to get Todd Phillips to come in for one year. You're not going to get Greg Williams to come in for one year when he thinks he's going to lose his job again next year. So by keeping the DC in place and just bringing in well-seasoned uh, assistance, it allows it to be where, just like what the Browns did with Freddie Kitchens, you know, you can clean house and keep some core pieces and just let yeah. that person build it. And I think Kevin O'Connell and Rob Ryan could easily be those two people that if everyone clears out, they stick around. Yeah, no, and I agree. And it's and I, you know, I understand what, what Will is saying there in the chat that, you know, we have no DC, but we're hiring a bunch of assistant coaches. I mean, you would think that he would want to hire his own dudes, but at the same time, you got Rob Ryan on the staff, you got Jim Tomasula, like that's pretty good. I, yeah, I, I, good I would walk game. into that DC job and be like, "Hell yeah, let's you know, go to work." Good opportunity. You, know, you had two defense, two former defensive coordinators, and a former head coach as your assistants. Yeah, like so, I would all take Tom that all day. Has to do is just manage the, just like what Jay just needs to do with the team now is to just manage everything. So delegate responsibility to yeah. all the position coaches. You got quality position coaches that can change things quickly, but. O'Connell is just going to be really more of a young face for the offense because apparently Jay's going to still call the plays. You know, he's still going to do that. So by putting him as OC, it just lets it have a basically fake building his resume to where if Jay's fired and they want to do the young, yeah, McVay Sean hire, McVay thing, which, yeah. which everyone else is doing, you know, Cliff Kinsbury, you got seems LaFleur, to be the trend. Yeah. All those Maybe people, this is my just, time. I can jump yeah, in. <laughs> so they just they can plug O'Connell in that role. So I think that's probably what's going to happen. But at the end of the day, as we say with all Redskins things, if Bruce Allen's running the show, you know I have a hard time believing we're going to be okay when boo this I saw, man. When I saw a video of a doctor like going into a very detailed explanation of how Alex Smith's leg, like he almost lost it, and right. all yeah. these other things, whereas. Two hours later, Bruce Allen's on Redskins Talk podcast and is like, oh, we're not preparing as if Alex Smith isn't going to be here. We're not worried about that right now. We're not thinking about it. Like, bro, you need to be thinking about it. Like, this is this should be priority number one. Are you not? We have no quarterback, dude. We have no quarterback. This is priority one. And it's it's shocking to me that he pretends that this is not discussed behind the doors. Uh, And. I, and I the only thing I can think shocking. of is that they're not trying to show their hand in the draft, but like at the end of the day, Everybody you have knows, a fan bro. base that is like really concerned about the most important position in all sports. Yeah. Right. At, so, least, at least give us something. As a preview to when we get close to the draft in our draft episode, so we'll probably just have a whole episode on the draft. Yeah, for sure. I think with everything as it sits right now, barring something drastic, we are drafting a quarterback in the first round. Who that quarterback will be, I don't know. We'll detail the people who it could be, but that's for a later day because that's a whole another horse. But I do think as a teaser for the draft, as we continue to go through this time with, you know, the Super Bowl this weekend and all this NFL network coverage, I do think they're going to end up taking a quarterback. So you have time now as a Redskins fan to do your research on all four of these prospects on your own to develop your own opinions because it's going to be a hot, key debate you know is it kyler murray is it daniel jones is it drew Locke? you know it could it's gonna be somebody so start looking just start paying attention yeah no i agree 100 percent. and and you know how's the tyrod go yeah i'm what what hold on what so we're saying oh he's saying sign tyrod but the problem oh i thought he said the browns let tyrod go i was like wait a minute hold on (laughs) did this just happen and you, you you say sign Tyrod, but Tyrod's probably still going to cost ten million dollars next year on a one year deal at the cheapest. I mean, you're not going to get a quarterback for under ten mil in one year. I mean, if Sam Bradford got twenty to sit on the bench, exactly. you know, you're going to have to pay him at least ten. So at we least. don't have ten to spend on a quarterback. Mm-hmm. So you have to. Your really only true viable option is to draft a quarterback and hope that they can start. Or hopefully you can get Colt McCoy or someone like that. But yeah, we're not going to be signing any free agent quarterback. The free agent quarterback that will sign for the Redskins is Josh Johnson. 
they're going to sign him for 800000 instead of going to play in the alliance. That's about the only free agent signing you will see at the quarterback position because they have to address safety. They have to address so many other key positions with money, whether it's a free agent or locking up people like Brandon Sheriff, you know, paying key players, Jameson Crowder. You know, we got a lot of free agents that we got to take care of too in house. No way we're going out and afford a quarterback in the market. It's just not going to happen. No, I agree. Uh, I mean, I really, I don't know what the answer is, and I'm, I'm, and the, the worst part is, is again, the the organization is not sharing any information with us, so we're just kind of swimming blind, man. And we see all this stuff going on, all this mayhem, <laughs> and it's like, man. well, I hope we'll figure it out sometime. Um, Maybe. You know, who the hell knows, man? It's it it is what it is. But I'm muted. I don't know. Get, get, hold on. We'll, we'll pause here and see if uh, you can hear Ch- Blake now. I had to add a chat box because I wanted people that watch this later to be able to see what we're reacting to in the chat. So go ahead and uh, talk, Blake. Uh, test one, two. Hey, guys. Yeah, you sound fine. Yeah, it yeah. sounds good to me. Let me let's check what the, uh, what the chat says about it. But. Zach says he doesn't hear me. He says okay, he hears he says you he now. Hears you so now. Okay. Good. So All right, well, that's a perfect segue into segment two, which is the most important week in all of football is this weekend. And we that's got right. we got the, you know, the, the goats versus the baby goats, I guess. I don't know how you want to describe it, but it's old versus new, oh, young, versus, young versus old, you know, that's- different types of football. So it should be interesting to see. No, yeah, it's it's going to be a great game. And this is where we really get to test the theory, boys. This is where we really get to test the theory that the NFL is rigged because... See, but I disagree because we're on opposite ends of that. Well, see, I, I don't know, man. I mean, well, okay, okay. All right, let's present our opening arguments and we'll go from there. How about that, okay? Okay. Okay, so... I have a draft against Tom Brady. First of all, the Rams were gifted um, a appearance to the Super Bowl. It's There's no other way to look at it. Yeah. They were gifted a, a appearance to the Super Bowl. Now... They did a lot to earn the right to play into that game, so I'm not going to knock their whole season. But it is an right. indisputable fact that without that call, they will not be there. True. Okay. True. L.A. has a new stadium coming. Okay. Mm. It is one of the largest sports markets in America, and they yes. need a team to succeed there. A win in the Super Bowl puts them – Puts yeah. them on the forefront now. Everybody's going to the games. They're selling it all out, all that. Right. That's yeah. why I think the Rams are going to win. Fair. And, so my, and Blake Blake is the judge, so he has yeah. to hear yeah. Here, my opening uh, statement. Your opening so, statement, counselor. So while I agree with everything you just said, and it's very similar to the show Ballers or something, like I feel like that's <laughs> a part of that. But yeah. at the same time, like – a very a very valid argument can be made for the NFL to want Tom Brady and the Patriots to win because when you look at Goodell's relationship with the owner Robert Kraft, you know they're like best friends right. in a way, not the way people think. Because everyone's going to say Deflate Gate, blah, blah blah blah, they hate you. Of course they hate each other. However, the amount of money they make together is ridiculous. Period. True. So, True. what you are witnessing with the Patriots organization is. Unlike, it's going to be something that's going to be talked about a hundred years from now. It's going to be the it's the ultimate sports dynasty ever. Period. Ever. Period. I don't care what you're saying. If Tom Brady can go to the Super Bowl half of the time of his career, you will never see that ever again. Yeah. So the amount of money that they are making together is astronomical. So to right. say that when referees give Tom Brady the most ridiculously easy. God, yeah, that was bad too. Yeah. You know, yeah. repass interference. It, it's good business for Brady. the NFL. To have Brady in there. Okay. Now let me, can I just rebut real, real quick? Okay. So the whole, the whole thing Stopping by. is How about just only, I mean, really the success is generated just simply by the Patriots being there. So for them to win it is kind of unnecessary. Like, Again, I think that the, weighing the two, yes, the Patriots winning it would be a good story, whatever, it'd make them some money. But in the yeah. long run, if you're playing the long game, the Rams got to win because yeah, that's going to build a whole game, new revenue but, stream. But when you look at what the NFL has been about this year, it's about, oh, the NFL is back. Like every weekend you see everything about ratings and everyone's yeah, like, oh, football's yeah, done. It is blah, coming blah, blah. back, yeah. What 
makes more money now, a team that you know that merchandise is going to sell True. everywhere. True. And around the entire world. It's going to be talked about by everybody. If the Rams win the Super Bowl. It'll be a story, a, but not yet. Yeah. a story. Yeah. If, the, if Tom Brady wins another Super Bowl after everyone had been saying all year that they're oh. not that good, you know, he the whole we're not here chant, like – why poke the bear, bro? Like, I don't know. First of all, from the competitive side, like if if there is no mis uh, handling and it's just true competition, like why would you piss Tom Brady off? That's just the dumbest thing you could possibly do. All right. So with everything being said, though, we still haven't heard any predictions. Dude, your your mic is is really it was. I don't know what was going on there. I didn't hear any of that. Yeah, that five dollar headphones might not be the best purchase. <laughs> They said they were pretty good. What there. About now? now, yeah, oh, that, hold it there. Yeah, Keep it better. there. Yeah, that's much better. Whatever you just did. Yeah, so my question, though, is we still haven't heard any predictions. Oh, so okay. my prediction is never go against the GOAT, period. 24, I mean, 28-24, Pats win it. Okay. okay. I still think, I still think that it's rigged, and therefore I think the Rams are going to win 34-31. And to answer Will's question real fast about the Chargers, the Chargers are a big part of our conspiracy yes, podcast. Yes, yeah, this, this so, is coming down the line, but hold the continue. Back. The, the Chargers could never be successful in L.A., and that's no. a part of our conspiracy. Exactly. So the Chargers were going against the odds this year, okay? And mm-hmm. the reason that they, they didn't – They can't even sell out a 23,000 state. That's exactly why they're not – that's why they didn't go further. Exactly right. Yes. They didn't want to split the L.A. market – between two teams when one can't even fill out a freaking soccer stadium. Exactly. They're like, Absolutely. we got to figure out something else to do with the chargers that or you know, at least have them glob on at the other stadium, but they want the Rams to be the team in LA. Yeah. They're young. They got a handsome young head coach. coach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, the, it's a movie star team, dude. You can't it pick is. a better team for LA. You really can't like, and I'm reading it. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blake's talking and we can't hear him. Talk again, Blake. I'm just saying, never pick against Tom Brady. Oh, in the end, everything is said and done. It's Tom Brady here. in this thing. I think it's going to be a blowout. I think he's blowout. 30. Dude, I think he makes a statement, man. Everybody's hmm. calling him old all year. That's true. Yeah. That's true. He's again in the Super Bowl. Yeah. It's, 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 ever. This dude goes in like, oh, yeah, all right, so it's time to go to this. <laughs> yeah. Man. Go pick up my kids at 12. Okay. It's the Tom Brady Invitational, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, but, it really is. It really is. But we'll, we'll end it here on just another teaser. We love to leave, we love doing teasers here on World Talk Sports and Gaming. As right. far as the conspiracy pod, when you look at the LA Rams and how that organization is as far as the talent, the players, the um, coaching staff, and – how perfect it is. It's almost like it's scripted. That's all I'll yeah. say. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, and it is. So that's the end of that. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that later for sure. Yes, for sure. But segment three is where hopefully B dog can get it together with his microphone. because This is, <laughs> this is his wheelhouse. This is where we're going to start talking about some games. And we want to start off with was ridiculous, but his, I his early, Thoughts on RD2. I was trying to check some out on Twitch the other day. It looks wild. Man. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, while he, my Blake Dog's getting set up, let us let me preface this by saying he's the only one of the three of us that's actually played it. I have watched people stream it, obviously, because yeah, you know, I, I love Twitch, whatever. Um, but I'm trying not to watch as much because I want to experience it for myself. So uh, we're going to kind of let B-Dog lead the conversation on this one because this is right in his wheelhouse. He was a huge fan. He's kind of the one that got us into re- uh, Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I'm, he was I'm he was the guy from Resident back Evil. in the day. So, yeah, Alex is still shook. I love what it. Alex is shook. One moments in video game history is that damn dog jumping through, through the window, bro, for sure. And scaring the living hell out of me. Sorry for the length. I got to say, you know, the, the blending of old with the new, they have done some stuff with the storyline that's a little bit different. It's not what you expect. Uh, they've kept most of the, the main storyline. I am currently about four and a half hours in 
naturally I get drawn away because of Fortnite, blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> um, but in the end, I can't tell you enough. It, this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's my top five of all time. It was for, mm. I played it on N64. It still remains to this day. And I'll tell you, I'm getting ready to try and power through the end of this thing. And I want to get ready for, within the next couple of weeks, be able to do a speed run, have the second storyline done. Um, they still have some of the old uh, uh, capacities of doing the, the split stories with the two characters and nice. talking the hidden characters. And I can't wait to get to the end stuff, man. I'll tell you what, I'm really, really excited about it. It's a beautiful game. I love it. Highly, highly recommend it to everybody who hasn't bought it yet. Go get it. I know everybody's enthralled with Kingdom Hearts, but I'll tell you what. Start with Resident Evil. Go to Kingdom Hearts. That's going to be a massive game. And Is uh, is RE2 the same? Is it full price? Yes. Yeah, it's a full game. Dang. Bold move, Cotton. Yeah, it is. Very bold. bold. And but it, that's what they're saying is that it can become the standard of a remake and how what they've done with it. And I wish they would do a Metal Gear. And, that's for sure. I don't understand why it's not the standard for companies who have all these amazing games that were released many, many years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Remake. I mean, there's, they could be reaching into that back library. Almost everybody could be doing that. I mean, there's some gold in there. Well, only. I think the the only reason we'll never see a Metal Gear is because of Kojima and you know yeah, that whole fallout. Yeah, yeah, they hate each other. So, right, you know, and um, so that's probably why we'll never see that. But I am hyped to see you do that speed run. That's gonna be lit. lit so beat that jam so we can see it because I want to check that out. But Kingdom Hearts, you know, for sure. It's like. I want to buy Red Dead, which is mad old, but just because I'm a parent, I can't buy video games with right. dispensable income like these chuckers here. <laughs> but then, of course, I see <laughs> Kingdom, Joel Kingdom Hearts. Oh! Like, oh, Joel! Thank oh, you for the yes. sub, bro. Appreciate Thanks, you, man. Appreciate it. Five months but, in a row. Good job. Thank you, sir. But, you know, I'm like, if anyone knows anything about me, is that my whole family and my wife are everyone's obsessed with Disney. So I see these trailers and I'm like, yo, this is like, <laughs> like I go to Disney world all the time. So, you know, playing with those characters in, you know, next gen consoles is going to be so tight. Plus it's kind of like a little final fantasy ish. So, um, I definitely, am going to have to check that out. No. Yeah, for sure. Like I, I, again, I've been watching that more on Twitch, but like, I just, I, I can't watch too much because I do want to experience it. And I, you know, I am going to get that. I don't know which one I'm going to get first, honestly. Um, I'm probably leaning toward Kingdom Hearts. So that way, when Blake comes back to streaming, we can do both and we'll have it all, all the bases covered. Uh, By the way, the Spider-Man stuff you did yesterday was awesome. Yeah, that was, that was pretty fun. That was definitely fun. I got to get back into that game a little bit more, man. It is, it is crazy, but. Just got to get into anything that's not Fortnite and Rocket League. <laughs> that's true i mean we have kind of fallen into the pattern Brem, 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 yeah, oh yeah blink i'm telling you man that game now we're gonna go off on a little bit of a tangent here just you know this is free form here but yeah. uh yeah that realm royale game we played that last night for the first time and i had you know obviously i'd seen people stream it and seen people play it so i knew what it was about but it really is pretty fun i have to say yeah, i had a really good is. time playing that game uh the shooting yeah. mechanics are fairly easy the powers are cool uh, Blake, you would definitely like it, I, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I have it installed. I'm ready to go whenever it, we get back on the PlayStation. I'm ready yeah. to yeah, It's yeah. like, you know, Fortnite light, so yeah. it's... It's definitely made for, like, an easy, casual crowd, for sure. Yeah, but you can... One of, like, the characters is a mage, and you can fly for, like, 10 seconds. It's pretty cool, and stuff like that. So yeah. it's definitely worth the free download. So if you haven't downloaded it, definitely download it. For yeah, sure. it's definitely it's free. Yeah, it. and it's awesome for sure. It, yeah, I mean, if you like Fortnite, might as well just put it in the library on your PlayStation. It's not going to take up a lot of space. It's definitely worth it. But right. it, um, yeah, I don't know though. So well, who knows when I'll ever buy another video game again. So right. also the live vicariously through you guys. I'm like Squidward <laughs> in the, in the, in the meme. Like, yeah. Like, oh, look, that's what it's like to be able to go purchase things like that. But, you know, 
just keep checking back. You know, Real Talk Game is always pumping with some crazy content. You never know what you're going to expect. So if you're in the chat and you never really checked us out, please do because it will definitely be rolling. But we also we also have to discuss other things that aren't sports, not gaming, because this is also a pop culture pod. Oh, yeah. Light, awesome. Lightly lightly touched upon. Re- yeah. Frequently, but it, is in the, it is in the course description. When you look it up <laughs> in the syllabus, it says pop culture pod. <laughs> So we saw some pretty funny things on the internet today. We'll start with the funny stuff, and then we'll transition to the last part where we're going to talk about who we think the new Batman is. But we got to talk about Ariana Grande. Yeah. So there's only one way to really talk about this. I have to pull it up on the screen. So we're just going to go <sighs> to. to this uh, screen here and check it out. All right. So Ariana Grande. Uh, you may have heard of her. She's kind is of it a popular. Ariana or Ariana? Ariana. Ariana. Who the hell knows, man? Yeah. I've never seen a semi tractor trailer. <laughs> exactly, dude. Who knows what her name is? She <laughs> yeah. uh, decided that it was going to be a good idea to go get the name of one of her new songs, I guess, tattooed on her hand. Which, like, what? Hold on. First of all, on the palm of your hand, what are you doing? <laughs> like, somebody um, talk to this girl. Like, that is not a good decision. It's the right. tap to her inner magic. I mean, apparently, this is, like, craziness. So, she goes and gets this tattoo, which I can only imagine was pretty painful in that posi- in that spot. Posted online, this picture that you're looking at here, and, and uh, is quickly told by the people, you know, her millions of followers, that this means <laughs> something close to... Like a, yeah, exactly. It, it, it says something kind of like... Uh, what barbecue grill or barbecue, something or, or charcoal grill? Chicken. I don't I know what that's baby about, back, baby man. Back, baby back. I like, what are you back, thinking? Baby back, baby back. I want my. Baby I just, back. I can't, I can't imagine. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Chili's baby back ribs. Uh, this fellow was says, says baby back rib. I don't know what the heck it says, but from a very regardless, she's go to make She's like, yo, oh, her excuse was that she knew it was wrong, and that she stopped it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Because it hurt, like you said. Yeah. Which it would. Of course it would hurt. But um, why would you post it on Instagram and then delete it? You know? Yeah, I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. That doesn't. I mean, it seems like you're trying to hey, cover that up. check out my horrible tattoo. It's like, JK, you're roasting me. Like, no. Right? I know. I know. So, I mean, and that's the other thing. Tattoos, like, when people are like, oh, yeah, that didn't hurt. No. Of course it hurt. Like, I have four tattoos. They hurt. So... And so I'm trying to tell people tattoos don't hurt. Probably twice as bad. Right, in, yeah, in her palm. Like, when, when is that going to be good to you? Like, I guess, I don't know, when she's singing, she's going to hold the mic and be like, ooh, barbecue chicken, I love this <laughs> tattoo. Like, it's so inspirational to me. Like, what is the value of that in your palm? I don't know. I mean, this is it's weird. It's, it's you know, celebrities, dude. Like, what? It's who knows? Probably- Ink stain. Oh no, my pen blew up in my hand. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we good. Yeah. Oh, I was just doodling in class. It's cool. It's uh, cool. some paint. I'm a painter. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah. But on some serious pop culture news, we found out yesterday, I believe it was, that my man Ben Affleck is not returning as a Dark Knight. Awesome, Batman. May I add, my personally, I. Up there is probably top two or three favorite Batman. Dude. He's he was good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. Um, a lot of people didn't like those Batman movies, and I understand the criticism. For me, as a person who liked the comics and and was into the comics and all that stuff, I was able to enjoy those movies because I understood what was going on previously. Yeah. You know, like we understood the backstory, we understood what was going on. But if you were like a casual fan or you didn't know the stories, like yeah, I could see how people wouldn't like it. But I thought he did a good job. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought he was the best part of those movies. Granted, now I didn't see Aquaman, and I heard Aquaman was awesome. So, yeah, I haven't seen that yet either. Yeah, I haven't seen that. But Not on that, but from what yeah, I, he he just got Batman at a bad time, dude. Yeah, that's that's part about it i would say yeah i mean well, they, they dc tried to be too much like marvel and they should have just done their own thing well see that's the thing it's not that they were trying to be too much like marvel they were trying to jump ahead to where marvel was at after marvel had done all this backstory and you yeah. can't do that you just can't do it yeah so if he would have given his solo movie first and built into it a little bit better then sure. actually had him and 
Jared Leto like have a Joker's thing before Suicide Squad came out and stuff like that. I think it would have been huge, but they just messed that all up, the timing of it. But yeah, yeah. Will's not wrong either though. Whoever had to follow Bale was gonna fail regardless. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's pretty that's, accurate. That's a fact. But <laughs> I agree. But you know, it's hard to tell as far as where they're gonna go next. Like I really have no idea who would be a good Batman. If someone like Ben Affleck, who is to me top tier like quality actor. Hopefully like, it's- what we have written down here is this is how accurate is this with Nick being considered? Yeah, Nick. So I read an article today. Since Blake's mic is awful, we're gonna have to airmail him a new one. But oh, yeah. the uh, how do I even get muted? You don't. It's like every time you move, it, I don't know. It's, it's very strange. You, your like audio doesn't come through as you talk. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Anyway, I read an article today, and this is not a joke people that in some somewhere in some circles where this is being considered the name Nick Jonas is being floated around for Batman. Now if that happens, there will be a riot in the streets because what the hell would like, what, who would think that was a good idea? Not me. Oh man. Like I can't imagine any situation as to like, is he even an actor? Has he ever acted? Yeah, he's been in some movies and shows. Yeah, but not like anything good. Like as So yeah, here as... it is from the Daily Mail. Jonas wants the world to know that he's a perfect replacement for Batman. So if this is out there and he's putting it out there, I understand that. But if he's putting so... it out there, that means somebody's going to say something about it. And if this even is being flirted with, I will lose my mind. So I just did a quick little Google search, just clicked literally the first thing I saw is who would the next Batman yeah. be. And two of these four names I'm actually intrigued by. Okay. First of which, Jake Gyllenhaal. That's quite intriguing. But he just got that character for Holy shit, Spider-Man. Man. He's also, he's in that Spider-Man movie, so he wouldn't be able to be Batman. So who, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah. He's Who's he going to be in Spider-Man? Oh, shit, for real? Yeah. What? So he he can't be it. So the other one is your boy. Sound any better? John Snow. John Kit Snow. Harrington. That's Batman. Nah, to be Batman. He's too small, man. He's a little fella. Yeah. Well, they can make any freaking Tom Cruise is five <laughs> six. That's true. He's What's Mission that quote Impossible. from Entourage? It would be an awesome Batman. He would have the voice. That's for sure. I don't know. Could he do an American voice though? Like and I mean, be convincing uh, with it. I don't think he would be an actor if he so couldn't. Why not? Well, he's only other only ever done roles where he's got the accent. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I don't but know. I mean, some people can. Some people can't. I don't know. You could drop the accent. How do I sound? Is this? You're fine. Better? Yeah, you're fine. It's yeah. just it's it's weird because you're using that headphone thing. That when I we can't find my old school nice ones. I no, have it's really... when we we it's when me and Chuck talk. Our sound is more is better and clearer than yours, so it drowns you out and it just cuts you off. Yeah, you just get you just get disappeared when we're talking at the same time. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like it does need to be someone who's like pretty yoked. So yeah, who's the other I don't team? know. Your I don't know your boy uh, from what's that movie called? I mean that show called Sons of Sons of Anarchy and Pacific Rim. He might not be bad. Charlie Hunnam. Like, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he's not bad. I don't know. King Arthur. He played King Arthur yeah, and all that. Yeah, I can so. see that. I can see that. Or we can always just go old school. Jason and bring Statham. <laughs> Statham. The Rock. You never know. The Rock's going to be Batman next. The Rock isn't everything. So He could yeah. be Batman. Um, but or we can just do, um, you know, go old school like our man Schmidt would want and you know, bring Heston back or something. <laughs> old <laughs> Batman. Yeah, you know, they could, they could do that arc, you know, the death of Batman and have him be like some old badass like uh, – yeah. Some salt and pepper dude. I can't think of who it would be, but it would, you could you could pick some badass old guys. Yeah, and, I think uh, you could do like an old Batman. Play like an older pretty, Batman. Pretty. That'd be pretty tight. He'd Yo, you know who cool. actually kind of be good is that one. Uh, that one dude. Uh, he was in. Shit, I can't remember his name. Never mind. I'm not gonna be able to think of it now. But he was in that show True Blood and played the Wolf Guy. Anybody watch that? Uh, played the Wolf Guy and what? In True Blood. Oh yeah. Oh, the, I know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, Jason Manginilio. Oh yeah. Agnavelli. 
Yeah, Mangelino, whatever the hell his name is, dude. He he would probably be pretty good. He's freaking huge. Mickey Mickey Rourke would be a sick old. Ooh, he would be a sick old, like torn up bad man. Shit. Yeah, that would be that would be dope. Or you could just get uh, Jeff uh, Bridges, and the dude could be the next Batman. Because apparently he's making a comeback too. Bro, so yeah, we kind of got to touch on this as well. Like, so Jeff Bridges on Twitter just drops this little promo, February third. Which I think that's the day of the Super Bowl, so I'm, I'm assuming it's a Super Bowl ad. But if they don't make a, yeah. another movie now that they've teased that, I'll be very upset. Like I mean, the dude abides, now, and dude. he better abide, man. He better freaking abide. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, John, what's sure. up, brother? Yeah, dude. Like that would be so lit. And I know a lot of people aren't 100 uh, percent big Lebowski fans because it's kind of a cult classic film. But I mean, talk about acting. That's just as far as being a good actor. That guy's out of control. So hopefully we can yeah. get another one of those, man. I really hope so, man. I really hope so. So this but, uh, last segment that we have is uh, kind of close to the what's heart. Next, what do we got? Oh yeah, our boy. You may have heard of his music on our channel before. You may have heard it. I don't know. You may love it. Uh, our boy Kane is dropping some new music tomorrow. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you haven't heard his music before, he is a very talented rapper. Um, here, we'll just play a little bit of this new this new stuff. Now, to tell you, it's that hot fire. To it's tell you the so truth, good, now, dude. all right, I've I've good. known Kane and I've listened to his music probably I mean, it was since we were in college, but for at least ten years now. Nice. And I've followed his career, and he's really he's he has the some of the best rhymes you'll ever hear, but. This new album is completely different. It's called Got My Own Sound. Uh, we'll play a little clip from his Instagram here because this is sick. Don't nobody here know. Surrounded by my family. Look at me as a superhero. So it's real me, I hit that. I knew I had to fix that. But my right mind wasn't intact. Surrounded by love but couldn't find none to take on and give back. Ooh, big, my struggle is every day now. You gotta get your head to my soul and just let it be down. So yeah, he's got a full band behind him on this album. Uh, it's a completely different sound. He was doing a live release party thing on Instagram tonight, and I was listening to a little bit of it, and it is amazing. But if you have any interest in real hip hop, I mean this this guy is lyrically very gifted. Uh, and this new sound with the band, live band behind it, it's very mellow and very cool. If you really like hip hop, I highly suggest you go on. It's available on Spotify, man. You don't even have to pay for it. It's free. I suggest you get on there, listen to it tomorrow. You will not, you will not regret it. I promise. Not be disappointed. And, he is the man. Yeah, we're gonna try and get him here on the show sometime this week to talk about it. So uh, hopefully next Thursday we'll have him on, or maybe on the weekend. I don't know. We might have to do his own thing. But, um, you know, check him yes. out. Follow him on all platforms. At Kane is the name. Uh, you can hit him up on, on Instagram, on Twitter. He's a very uh, easygoing dude. He likes yes. to reach out with the fans. So reach out to him. Um, let him know we sent you. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, we want to see this guy blow up, man. He's been grinding real hard at this. And I really feel like this album is the one that could really take off for him. So, We'll we'll keep a close eye on it, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be uh, talking about <clears throat> some kind of tour or something coming up soon. Yeah. That would be pretty World lit. tour. And Chip can hopefully. be a security guard. We hope so. Right. That's Chip's life not- ambition. So take take me away, guard. man. Take it's me away. Entourage. So and that's yeah. And then we can have a real life entourage. Then hey, Chip good. Chip can be Kane's turtle. That would be lit. Yeah, hey. Driving around. Let's go. Let's go. But, you know. And when, to wrap everything back up, you know, when we are here in a week, what will we be talking about? I don't know. I'm sure it's going to be more Redskins drama. Definitely. It seems like every day something new happens. If there's one thing about being a Redskins fan is that you're not bored in the offseason. <laughs> that you know, is Redskins, exactly correct. <laughs> Redskins Twitter is always lit, you know, every day. It's pretty much what I look at all the time. So You never know what's going to come across that wire, man. We will be have crowned a new world champion. 
Will it be the goat or Probably will it be the young bloods? We'll find out. But you know, check us out when we go live. We're gonna be gaming for sure this weekend and all that. So always hit us up on our social media. We appreciate all y'all stopping by, uh, well, hanging out with us. Yeah, the real talk, <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you so much for stopping by. And 